here, welcome to my cancer journey and in this video we're going to be talking about having bone marrow injections which I had to have towards the end of the chemotherapy, the intense course that I had for my brain tumours and um, yeah I ended up having to have uh, bone marrow injections because it, it actually started eating my bone marrow I think. So l let's get straight into it and uh yeah cause there's a there's a lot to cover i think this is going to be broken up into a few different uh like into maybe three different videos so here we go i'm sure i had to have these injections um because i was have i, I had so much of this intense course of chemotherapy i uh, i'm pretty sure it was the last six month course because i had two six month courses and it was a very, it was the last six months that it really took it out of me, like I was on death's door. And it was eating my bone marrow. So they had to give me these injections that would make me grow back the bone marrow that the chemo was eating away. And um, yeah, it's intense. What I'm gonna tell you next and what we're gonna get into with this subject. So, yeah, pay attention, All right? These injections were so, so, so savage for me. Like, so nasty, it, it was unbelievable. Um, the agonizing pain in my bones were, it, it was just, I've never experienced anything like it. It the the pain really for me. It was all over. All of my bones hurt, but main bones for me were my hips. I just couldn't sit up no matter how I sat. It was just uncomfortable and hurting and aching constantly. And then a uh, throbbing, stabbing pain, like someone was chiselling away at my spinal cord down at the bottom of my back, which, uh, I'm not going to lie, it was terrifying. It, 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 I think it sent me into a bit of a panic attack, maybe, I'm not sure, but... It it got so intense it actually started to affect my uh, my breathing, and that that then started I started to have flashbacks from the first like operation I had when I came back and I ended up getting an infection around in the protective layer around your heart. And not being able to breathe, I can I can rem I can remember taking my last breath, thinking this is my last breath, and everything going black, and then getting a cold feeling go down my arm, and suddenly going <gasps> and being able to breathe as they gave me a, an injection of morphine. The ambulance people ran up the stairs as I passed out, and yeah, it's, it's it it was scary. And uh, to get that flashback as well, it just increased on it a lot more. And also, this was the first time I'd ever had this injection. And all I'd been told by the doctor was that I'd get a, a slight uncomfortableness and um, pain in my bones, in the bigger bones. Not that's not what, what I got, so it 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 was ex it was extremely scary for me, extremely scary for me. I I can remember not wanting to to sort of say anything, but at the same time thinking I've got to. But I have this thing about if I admit to myself that this is happening then it gets worse that's what's happened in the past and uh, it's like it's, it's like PTSD really almost uh, 
So I'm just looking at my notes. I think that's I think that's everything for today. I've broken this up because I've got page after page after page of notes. There's there's pages, linked to pages, all double sided. So I've got so much more to come on this subject. But that's all for today's video. I I really, really hope that this has been of some help and you can find some sort of strength or I don't know, just something from from my experience. And uh, if I can do it, you anyone can do it, trust me. So I'm gonna say it again. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button and um, the little bell notification next to it. That will um, it, it basically notifies you of any um, any updates that I make. So you, you, I mean, you don't have to really follow it. Just ping, and you'll get a new notification saying that I've uploaded a video. That's all. And also, I, the more views I get, so if you can share it, and the more subscribers I get, the more my videos will get shown when people ask about this sort of content. And that, that's, my, that's my target. I want to get to many, as many people as I can, help as many people as I can, build up a following, and then move it forward into something really positive where it becomes a support network for not just me but for other survivors patients i want to help people that are in hospitals i want to go out to the local hospital where i had my treatment and go to the ward and say thank you and and yeah just see the reactions if anyone there is still there from when i was there it would be amazing to see them and then see me now because uh, it, the difference is unreal. Anyway, I'm going to leave it there. But I love you and leave you. Peace out and uh, stay strong, right? Don't give up the fight and keep your mind strong. Mindfulness, people. Mindfulness and CBT, Cognitive Behavioural Therapy. Look it up. And I guarantee that there'll be things on there that you can use and that help you so much. But you should all be engaging with someone. And if you bring it up with them, they can look into it with you because it's, it's not good to do things alone. It plays loads of music on here. So if you can get the, uh, if you can get the support and go through it with them, then do it, please, because... I didn't and it's been 10 years in remission and I'm finally getting some sort of a life back and it's it's amazing and you guys are all helping me by what, watching these videos I've got a purpose I can turn these negatives into a positive and help one person then yeah I mean that that's it boom I've done it and it, it just is making me feel so much better and i hope it helps you too all right god bless peace out